Hello and welcome back. In this video we are going to see how to use the track instrument, so the new feature since Cubase 7.5. I'm gonna first open the VST windows by pressing F11 on my keyboard. And right now I'm gonna choose track instrument, where I can define what instrument I can select without having to choose the virtual instrument before the sound I want to use. This is very useful because I don't have to think before at which instrument I have to load to use that sound. Now with this window I can browse the instrument I need and as usual I can filter the results from the search results. So I'm gonna filter it by fretless and I'm gonna choose for example the first one As you can see, a new slot here in the VST instrument has been created with the Hedion Sonic SCE loaded and the track instrument has been created in the track list. So from the inspector, the track instrument is able to control both the MIDI and the audio at once. So as seen before, we are now trying to record a MIDI part. So I'm gonna control the virtual instrument through the virtual keyboard on the transport panel. I'm gonna choose the right octave. I'm gonna put Cubase in record directly. Okay, so as seen before, we have to quantize our MIDI notes and we can do it directly from the display window by pressing the Q key on our keyboard, but we have to be sure that we have a proper quantization setting. Okay. We have to remove the virtual keyboard, otherwise if I press the Q on my keyboard it will play the virtual instrument. So now the virtual instrument has been disabled and I'm gonna press the Q key on my keyboard. And as you can see, the MIDI notes have changed position. So let me remove the transport bar by pressing F2 and let's focus a little bit on this part of the editor where we can define the velocity of the notes. Let me zoom out. As you can see, all these levels are related to the velocity used for our notes. Now I have normalized all the velocity notes to the maximum level. So we are sure that all the notes will have the same volume through the part. Let's put Cubase in play by double clicking on the, on the ruler tab. I'm gonna press Control Command A to select all and I'm gonna select again the legato function. So now no hole between a note and another is present in the part. So I'm gonna put again Cubase in play. I think that this part is the correct one. But something is wrong right here, as you can see. There is no legato, so I'm going to move it manually. It's always a good thing to manually check the part, the MIDI part, before copying it through the groove. Same problem right here. Okay, everything seems to be fine right now. So I'm going to press Enter to exit the key editor. And I now choose the scissor. I'm going to cut the part I need. And I'm gonna delete all the rest. And as seen before, I'm gonna move it at the beginning. I'm gonna press Ctrl Command D to duplicate it. Okay, I'm gonna select Ctrl A to select everything, P to position locators, 1 to rewind, and Enter to put in play. <music> ok, 
Okay, as you have seen with the track instrument future, the MIDI connection between a MIDI track and a virtual instrument is really faster and easier. So we are going to use it for the rest of the course as our standard method to connect MIDI to VST. And now let's move on to the next video.